Hi guys, this is Jackie. I am happy to share with our community the DeChain Testnet and SDK Alps Mountains, which was released at the end of 2018 Q4. This is our third release in the last year. Before this, we have released the Testnet Alpha and the Beta versions in June and September. The next phase of DeChain development will focus on supporting smart contract and solidarity-based economy and building the programming interface between storage and blockchain system. The next release is projected at the end of 2019 Q1. Some of the key features of this release include support three types of transactions for storage contracts, finalize the storage proof algorithm, stabilize storage contract handshake process, implemented the provider auto-selection algorithm, performance optimized for file uploading. I would like to introduce the major improvements and new features of three products that we have launched this time. They are Testnet Explorer, DXbox, which is a decentralized blockchain storage product powered by DeChain Testnet, and the last one, DeChain Pi, which is our Testnet SDK. The DeChain Testnet Explorer is now connected to the new release of Testnet, Alps Mountains. The Explorer can be accessed by clicking the Testnet button on our website and has been updated with the new feature, Storage Contracts. When clicking on the Contract tab on the navigation bar, a list of contracts are available. Clicking the ID will give you detailed information about the contracts, including the file contract ID, current status, initial settings, etc. The story contracts have four possible states. The state ongoing means the lifespan of a story contract, from initialization to expiration. Verify means the contract has been verified by blockchain, and the story provider has got the reward from storing the data. Vacant means the contract is established but there are no file uploaded by the client. Therefore, there are no need for the providers to submit the story proof. Fail means the provider is not able to submit the story proof before the contract expires. Dbox is a decentralized blockchain storage product powered by DeChain Testnet. The Dbox can provide secure and private cloud storage for users all over the world. Now, we provide free qualifications for our community members and supporters to try out the Dbox. That means you can have your own secure and decentralized blockchain storage at no cost. Don't miss out! To get started, go to the Explorer and click Dbox in the navigation bar. For security considerations, you will have to register using a valid email address before using the Dbox. After registration, an email will be sent to the address you provided. Click the link and it will bring you to the upload page. To upload files, click the dash area and choose a file to upload. Note, currently the file size is limited to 10 megabytes. The status field shows the uploading progress from the node to DChain, which will be automatically updated. After file uploading completed, the status will be changed to download request. At this time, you are able to view the storage contracts used for this file. By clicking the contract ID, it will direct you to the page of contract details. To download the file from the chain, two steps are required. Step 1. Download the request, which will instruct our server to download the file from the chain. Step 2. Download which means the file is ready on the server and you are able to download it to your local machine. More operations are also supported. For example, you can rename the file. Or delete it. I really encourage you to try it out. DGNPy is a Python implementation toolkit for DGN API which allows developers to build their own applications based on DeChain Testnet. The GitHub repository can be accessed by clicking the button DeChain Pi SDK on our official website. Let's follow the README to execute an example code. First, open a new Python environment. 
use command pipe install dgen pi to install the toolkit. Open Python. Copy and paste the example code from the README and execute. This piece of code will give you the current consensus information. If you are interested in learning more about Digital Concepts and API, you can use this URL to get access to the detailed documentation. Thank you for watching. Please visit our website and join Digital Community for more information and updates.